Hello and welcome to the Musical Instrument Investigator. Uh, today we are on the website of Interrancheres, uh, again, which is the big kind of auction marketplace in France. Uh, we're going to have a look at an auction by SVV Ferrando, who we've looked at before. And this is kind of uh, a few select prestige instruments. Um, buyer's premium, 26.4%. Uh, look at the terms and conditions, um, look at things about shipping, if you're interested in buying it, buying anything from this auction, I shall put a link in the description. Uh, this auction is due to be live on June the 1st um, from 2pm in Paris, so if you're interested, uh, look into that a bit more. Uh, here's a bit of information here, you see for Bose, the expert is Pierre Guillaume, you see a lot of certificates of that, of him. Um, and then you've also got, because uh, this is the musical instruments section, uh, Boyer as well uh, for other instruments. And then you have uh, Mr. and Mrs. Sinier, uh, I think that's Sinier de Rida. Um, anyone that's into their issuing certificates for guitars, anyone that's interested in like historic guitars, um, they released a couple of books. Uh, quite a number of years ago now that are very expensive but they're like incredible books on kind of historic guitars kind of reconstructions and restorations of historic guitars in extreme detail so they're very very interesting uh, books but anyway so they have experts that are certifying the lots so uh, that's enough rambling let's just get uh, straight into it so uh, lot one a three-quarter size viola uh, miracle 1920 to 30 excellent condition interesting that they have uh, HD photos uh, link that's curious okay so just three photos on that that's fairly clear uh, lot two is a uh, Poirasson violin bow uh, Pernambuco Face plate and button missing. Once again, they've got links to HD photos, so that's quite cool. It's uh, definitely had a hard uh, life, hence the 20 to 30 euro estimate there. Uh, cello bow from uh, Charles Nicholas Bazaar workshop. Uh, 63 grams without hair. Also a link to the HD photos. Um, violin bow which I think is kind of a bill wood I just say an ordinary uh, bow but it's got a Victor fatigue stamp but not by that maker 40 to 80 the estimate Ooh, uh, violin 18th century French violin made by Nicolas Augustin Chapuis in Mirecourt in 1770 uh, branded Chapuis on the heel, 360 um, length, badly damaged, small pieces missing. So you see a lot of these Chapuis. I actually really like uh, these instruments. This one is in an incredibly bad uh, state, unfortunately. Hence the 100 150 euro uh, price. But I actually like these instruments. Some of them are sound really, really good. Uh, from my experience, but that definitely needs some work. But you know, if you can get it for a good price, it could be okay. Um, German school uh, cello bow, Pernambuco, non original slide. Let's just see what other pictures we have. Needs a bit of uh, restoration work there. Ooh, a beautiful violin bow from the German school, octagonal Pernambuco. Uh, weight 57 grams with silver. It's actually pretty good weight. Yeah, that actually looks like quite a nice bow. Three to four hundred euros could be a good one. A broken cello stick by Dominique Poirson, uh, 1880. Uh, do do do. Let's have a look. In good condition with its original screw nut system. Small ebony chip. 
happy to 500. So it needs a bit of uh, attention, but it could be interesting. Um, Emil Ushar, father and son, double bass bow, circa 1930, Pernambuco, ebony. Uh, weight 108 grams, in good condition, some wear and tear, yeah, looks fairly nice, uh, Claude Thomasin, uh, violin bow, circa 1905, uh, Pernambuco, branded with Caressa and French, bow in good condition, Okay, let's have a look. Yep, once again, looks like it could be a fairly nice bow. Has some marks on these. Okay. And uh, Hippolyte Camille Lamy bow, circa 1920, Pernambuco. Ebony and silver. Uh, um, fractured repair in the first third after the head. Rise. Definitely well used. Eight to nine hundred euros. Probably good to look at it a bit closer. Uh, another Hippolyte Camille Lamy, circa nineteen twenty, Pernambuco. Non original button. Weight fifty nine. A little bit heavier. Looks interesting. Quite a lot of bows. Another beautiful violin bow by Louis Morizon, the father. Um, 1925 Lupo model. Pernambuco stick, signed Lupo. Uh, weight 60 grams. A little bit heavier. Seems in quite nice condition actually. 800 to a thousand euros. Yeah, it looks quite nice. Violin bow by Auguste uh, Lenoble, circa 1880, Pernambuco. Interesting uh, grain going on there. 60 gram weight. Okay. 19th century cello bow in Fonclaws style tropical wood with ebony um, button good state of restoration repair at level of the slide and the rear sight and addition of aesthetic wood to the beak of the head okay yeah it looks like there's something added there just in that button Okay. An interesting viola bow by Louis Morizon, the brothers, circa 1950, Pernambuco, ivory and nickel silver, good condition. It's got the mark Georges Con, a feel a Lyon, weight 69 grams, bow in good condition. Um, I think the problem with these bows is that the ivory is just going to cause problems traveling um so that is just one of the things i would say to bear in mind it can be a bit of a pain or if not impossible sometimes to go into some countries without the correct documentation in any case a uh, violin made by lewis uh, de Ligno in boudricourt 1943 very good state of preservation. Nice uh, scroll there. Some good pictures. Ooh, interesting. Viola work, 18th century, probably School of Erlinger. Uh, 389 back. Traces of worm, restoration to tops and sides, 12 to 1500. Nice, I really like that scroll. Yeah, 
that's quite a nice nice looking viola action I quite like that Ooh, a superb violin bow by Louis Morrison senior Sartori period circa 1920 Pernambuco uh, weight 61 grams very good condition original screw plate system uh, let's see nice uh, patinaed silver there and yeah, it does look like a nice uh, nice stick yep, it looks like an interesting boat a very rare Albert Fleury cello bow circa 1930 Pernambuco uh, silver uh, parts very good condition original plate yep. small chips and places once again it looks like a nice bow some normal movements there in the button okay a Noel Burke violin bow uh, in a Tomachot model Pernambuco uh, ebony and silver white 59 grams very good condition yeah it looks in nice condition two to three thousand euros the uh, estimate on that a beautiful violin bow by Emil August Oshar Field 1925 beautiful Pernambuco rod uh, ebony and nickel silver good condition 50 grams without hair yeah this is actually quite an interesting figure on this yeah, it doesn't have uh, needs all its lapping and everything so the weight will probably should hopefully be around right maybe a tiny bit uh, heavy once it's done so it's nice interesting and rare 18th century French cello work by Nicolas Mathieu with an original label some restorations to back in size two to two and a half thousand yep that's interesting uh, violin bow for Francois Nicolas Vera uh, circa 1880 uh, Pernambuco baguette um, ebony and nickel silver uh, 60 grams okay some wear and oxidization yep looks interesting not as exciting as some of the other ones but the stick looks uh, nice two to three thousand euros estimate that there a French 19th century violin bow in the style of Picat um, beautiful baguette in wavy Pernambuco and ebony and silver back video model and nickel silver button uh, but branded uh, VO yeah looks a nice uh, nice head on that looks like a very nice bow two and a half to three and a half thousand Ooh, a, a superb violin bow by Jean-Jacques Milant circa 1970 Pernambuco ebony and gold weight 63 grams a little bit heavier there not really a fan of gold mounted bows personally just from an aesthetic point of view but some people do like it three and a half to four and a half thousand there an interesting viola work by Benito Tosello made in Ferrara around 1990 numerous iron marks and original label uh, 413 uh, length of back certificate from Bruce Carlson 2017 so. yep that looks interesting four to five thousand euros there another Italian work viola mid 19th century 403 back Certificate from Dimitri uh, Gindin, 2020. Different restorations on the top. Looks quite interesting. Ooh, Italian violin made by Stefano Cogna in Cremona in 1973 with the original label. 357 uh, length of back. looks like quite a nice uh, instrument there 
uh, another nice Italian violin made by Araldo di Bernardini in uh, Nice in 1940. Uh, signature in pencil at the bottom. Many m iron marks. 358 back. A certificate from Bernard uh, Sabatier 2019. Excellent condition. I quite like that scroll. It's quite curious. Okay, that's an interesting. Uh, Crack there by the and the scroll. Um, an interesting cello bow by Francois Lupo, circa 1820, Pernambuco, uh, signed Lupo, uh, Lupo, <laughs> Lupo. Um, weight 70 70 grams, good condition. Uh, it looks like there's got a piece repaired on the audience side into the stick. We're getting into the more expensive uh, territory now, six to seven thousand, obviously, with a lupo bowl. A nice violin made by William uh, Forster the second in London in 1793. Original label, three five three back. That's quite quite sweet. Um, restoration of the table, sound post crack. Uh, um, ba -ba yep, that's nice. Yep, nice looking instrument. The force of the stuff is very nice. Seven to eight thousand thirty-three. Uh, very nice eighteenth-century French cello made by Jean Baptiste Solomon in Paris, uh, with the label uh, seven five four back. Restorations to the rib table. I like the work of Solomon as well. Is nice. So that's a nice kind of uh, shell. That meant to be like a shell at the back of the scroll. Yep, quite nice. Um, interesting violin made in Cremona by Stefano Cogna in 1976. Original label, 256 back. Certificate from Dimitri Gindin, 2017. Excellent state of conservation, 8 to 10,000. Looks very tidy, but not my type of thing. A uh, very nice violin made by Cesar uh, Candy in Genoa in 1918, original label and marks, 357 back, excellent state of conservation, ready to play. 28 to 30,000. Yeah, definitely looks quite interesting, that one. Uh, superb violin by Paolo di Barbieri in Genoa, 1925. Iron Marks, original label, 355 back. Yeah, that is in a very good state of uh, preservation. 26 to 28,000 there. Um, lot 37, a very exceptional violin made by Auguste Sebastian Bernadel. Um, made for the 1849 exhibition in Paris, uh, 360 backs, so that's a little bit long, small fracture on the table, along the neck, um, left C belt as well, crack. Well, that's quite an impressive back. So, I think these uh, Bernadel um, always sell very well, 25 to 26,000. Um, a very interesting violin made by Vincenzo Sanino in Naples around 1905-1906. Bears uh, a label for Andrea Borelli and Palmer. Uh, different restorations of the table, sound posts, uh, patch. Um, there's something on the bottom as well. Quite a nice looking in instrument, 28 to 30,000 there. Okay, an exceptional violin made by Riccardo Genovese in Montlio in 1925. Original label, 356mm on the bottom. Small slit under the upper right F hole. I think that's referring to here. Let's have a quick look. Mm 
interesting scroll 25 to 30 Right, uh, very interesting cello from the School of Venice, made around 1730. The Entourage of Tononi, head same period but by another maker, 755 back. That looks curious. It's quite deep. Um, then 41, wow, a rare children's design made in Paris in the second half of the 17th century in a later case. Vaulted uh, back in fruit wood with ebony inserts. We won't read all of this in the style of the bone. Lots of different information here, but let's look at the pictures. It looks like a very lovely instrument. Yep, beautiful. Well, nice case. And a certificate there as well. From Cinier Deridier. As we spoke before about guitar expert restoration repair. So that looks cool. Let's just have a quick look again. So 30 to 50,000. Yep. Not too surprised there. A guitar attributed to Jacob Stadler, Naples, first half of the 17th century. 50 to 70 thousand pounds. So let's have a quick look. Yep, that is quite an instrument. Very, very fancy. Yep, that is a quite outstanding instrument, really. It's quite beautiful. It's got the certificates. Very, very fancy indeed. Very nice. I get a little bit uh, lost when looking at um, instruments like this, so I'm just a little bit in... Uh, in all, there's quite a crazy amount of uh, ivory in this. It's just extremely fine instrument. The detail, the work on this is just really quite exceptional. So, hence the uh, fifty to seventy thousand uh, estimate. Really, should probably look at this in more detail, but we'll uh, just keep it brief for now. But yeah, very very beautiful instrument. And to lot 43, a very rare and interesting Italian violin from the Cremona school made by Andrea Guarneri around 1665 to 75, with the exception of the table, which is French work of the 18th century, 354 back. So, in need of uh, quite a bit of attention there, but you know, an opportunity to at least own a Guarneri composite and spend a bit more money on work for it but uh, yeah fascinating instrument so 75 to 77 thousand is the estimate on that uh, nice 18th century Italian violin from the Milan school in test in Testore's twist 352 back accompanied by a certificate from Florian Leonhard 2019 different restorations on the table and small break on the bottom right in the sea belt Yep, yeah, looks interesting. Twenty-eight to thirty thousand on that. Uh, Forty-five. Very exceptional cello made by Vincenzo Sanino in Naples, nineteen oh one, of which it bears the original label. Cello is a very beautiful realization of this famous luthier. Some cracks on the top. Another interesting item, 50 to 55. A beautiful violin by Giovanni Battista uh, Cerruti in Corona, 19, 1790. 354 back, certificate from Dimitri Gindin. Um, will be provided various restorations. Oh 
definitely an interesting uh, violin. Definitely intrigued by the uh, the scroll. Very curious indeed. Yep, interesting. Uh, lot forty seven. Rare violin uh, bow by Pierre Simon, circa 1860. Uh, interchangeable wick, Pernambuco, ebony and silver, branded Viome, 54 grams without tear, knotty Pernambuco. It's got the kind of the uh, re hairing system. Interesting, twenty to twenty-five thousand, and the final lot, Ooh, a magnificent violin made by Ettore Sofriti in Ferrara in 1921 with the original label. The instrument was built from for Henry Podras, famous French violinist and expert. The instrument is in a very exceptional state of conservation. Three five seven back. Interesting. Well, there you go. There you have it. We've looked over the uh, SVV Ferrando uh, auction. Only a small one, but obviously some very fine stuff. Um, some incredible instruments here, really. Uh, the Guarneri, uh, or the Guarneri composite in any case. This uh, potential Jacob Stadler um, guitar. Incredible kind of things. Some very interesting bows. Uh, but for me, I don't know. I think that I am... Um, still very interested in um, this viola actually this 18th century viola possibly Erlinger uh, school uh, yeah I just quite like it I really like the scroll so I think this will be my uh, pick of the auction I like the colour of the varnish it's uh, yeah that's the one doing it for me but yeah uh, a, an interesting auction uh, great pictures I haven't looked at the HD ones but I'm sure they're even better and yeah good information and check out the auction and uh, read up a bit more about uh, some of the lots so once again uh, thank you very much for watching and we'll catch you next time ciao many thanks for tuning in to the musical instrument investigator i hope that you enjoyed the video if you did then please like uh, subscribe and turn on notifications and watch out for the next video coming soon